Okay, so um, we're going to go through the, 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 the basics of listening energy and the basics of uh, Jin, how to make it work. What does the mind need to comprehend to make this happen? First thing, if a person gives you a line of force and they push against you and you touch them, you obviously want to identify their line of tension. So where is their strength coming from? So here it's coming from his shoulders and, and connecting into his core. Now, if he was to drive forward with his legs, then, oh, okay, now it's coming more from, from the legs. So I want to, number one, define the line of tension. Number two, I want to connect into the elasticity of his body and feel the biotensecrity, the elastic web of, of his body. This includes tendons, ligaments, sinews, all the elastic parts of his frame. Number three, I want to be able to use that biotensecrity and his tension line to touch down onto his feet. So I want to find his root. I want to find his connection to the ground. So I've got a line of tension, I've got biotensecrity, the elasticity of his body, and then I've got his feet. Next thing I want to find is his center of mass. The reason why I want to find a center of mass is if he's dead weighted, I have to pull on that dead weightedness. If his center of mass is behind his central axis, I'll be sending energy that way. If it's in front, I can use it and come underneath. If it's down and heavy, I've got to pull down. So when you, when you look at the center of mass, if let's say he brings himself up into his chest, now our center of mass rises and he drops it to here and he drops it into his thighs. The center of gravity of his body, of his mass, can lift and drop throughout his body. People who are, are very strong on the top or very electric, say if he brings the center up to there, then that's the area I'm going to attack. If he brings it down to his core, huh, okay, it's lower, and then down to the thighs, and that's where most high chi people go. They go into their legs to, to be grounded. I want to identify where the center of mass is. So I've got the line of tension, the line of his strength. What muscles are being used? How's he getting that, that strength onto me? From, from there, I want to feel the biotensecrity of his body. I want to feel his his root and I feel his center of mass. Where, where is his, his balance working in relation to a central axis? Is it on the front? Is it on the back? Is it high? Is it low? All these, those qualities are super important. Then the next thing I want to do is the force that he's getting onto me, I have to clearly define this line of tension. Is it muscle? Is it, is it a facial elastic stretch? Is it dead weightedness? What is the nature of his force? If it's dead weightedness, I don't pick up a sack of potatoes. I am going to, I'm going to lead that out. I'm going to pull it down. So I've got to be very, very clear on that. The next thing I want to, want to know from there, after I, I can feel that the nature of the force he's putting on me, is his center of balance. So center of balance, so I grab my partner, and I pull him right on the edge of his toes. I have a feeling uh, that's where he loses his balance. That's his balance. And I push him, his center around. That's the edges of his balance. So he's obviously giving me his balance for me to feel. And I go, ah, that in hermetics we call that the mental body. This is the, the, the mind-body connection. When I get to the edge of his toes, the next thing I look for is that that part of him which pulls his balance back to his body. It sucks him back in. So when I'm onto the balance, then that magnetic quality that, that makes us go, oh, pull back. Now, if let's say I push a, little, a person a little bit out, they're going to unconsciously withdraw back to their center unless they're consciously giving me center. So there's a magnetic quality within the person's mind and body which pulls the balance back into center. It's always seeking to be grounded and centered. Because a person's protective chi, their immune system, their, their bodily protective system is strongest when they're grounded and centered. When a person's out of balance, that's when their, their energy is weakest, their immune system is weakest, their protective chi is weakest. When they're in balance, it's strongest. Okay, so we've got quite a few qualities we've got to look at. The tension line of a person, of your partner, the biotensecrity of their body, the root, we want to feel where their center of mass is where their line of power is coming from, where their center of balance is, and the magnetic quality of how the balance connects to their body. So this is your basics of listening energy. You've got to feel all these things in your training partner uh, if you want to work with them. From there, those are the physical qualities. Now we go into the internal qualities. 
The internal qualities is the feeling of life force and energy you get from condensing the breath and you get this fluidic feeling. This is what we transform his force into. When we relax, if you push on me, I get a physical tension resistance. Now from there, I relax my awareness into life force feeling and it's just a perception, it's just a feeling in my body. This activates my biotensecrity, it puts my trampoline underneath his feet and connects to his base and I roll the joints under the lever. So I want to be very aware of the life force feeling. The life force feeling moves from there into, from, from this region into the heart region, and it's just known as the astral body. Now your astral body is when you slow that life force feeling down, it becomes very thick and fluidic. And uh, in Chinese they call that qi, the qi body. And we want to become very, very aware of that. So I've got this tension line, I connect into the feeling of life force, and then from there, I, I deepen and slow that into the astral feeling, or Chen Man Ching calls it swimming in air. That's the astral body. Then the next layer, the upper Dantian, is the mental body, which we already covered. The edge of that, that, that part that holds the balance in, we already covered. And then the last essential component is stillness. When you've been doing meditation for a while, you recognize that you have concentration. Underlying that concentration is an accumulation of stillness. And there's this empty quality underlying everything that exists. And it arises naturally from meditation practice. When a person puts a force on your body, you want to recognize the underlying emptiness. Because when you relax into it, the biotensecurity of your body also switches on and becomes very, very efficient. So we want to get to that place very, very quickly. So those are the basic qualities for listening energy that are required for far gym. Okay, we'll uh, we'll leave it there, and then we'll continue with the next part. Thank you.